right, here we go. So this is um, practice test 2E, question number 13. And a lot of you had some, some questions on this. It's a basic Ampere's Law question, but it is one that's worth working out. So in this problem, we had a wire that looked something like this. They gave us the cross-sectional radius of the wire. So in this case, it was 2.5 millimeters. And they gave us the total current, which is uniformly distributed throughout this entire wire. They gave us that I, in this case, is 33 amps. What they were looking for here was that the B field, some half millimeter in, from the outer edge of this wire. So in other words, they're wanting us to take a look at some sort of a circle within that radius. It's just in by half a centimeter. So we call this radius little r. So notice the difference here between big R, which is the total radius of the entire wire, versus little r, which is the radius of the circle that we're interested in looking at. So now, OK, now we can use Ampere's law. So let's do that. So Ampere's Law, what does that say? Because a lot of you want to look at the equation sheet and just find the equation and plug it in and be done with it. And yes, there are a lot of specific examples on the equation sheet that you can use to do that with a lot of different problems, but this isn't one of them. This is very specific to kind of a situation that we're looking at. And so we're gonna just, this is a great application of Ampere's Law kind of from the get-go. So what is Ampere's Law? Ampere's Law is V dot DL is equal to mu naught i enclosed. So that enclosed, even though I wrote it really small to fit it on this board, is actually super important. So they don't want the entire current. They want just the current enclosed by that blue circle. So here's what we're going to have to do. We need to find i enclosed. And here's my trick for finding i enclosed. So whenever we have, I'm just going to erase these givens here for just a second. Um, and this will be kind of a side calculation that you often need to do for problems like this. What I know is I. I know the total current. What I don't know is the current just enclosed by that blue circle. But what I can say for sure is that I enclosed is over the total current I is going to be the same as the ratio of that smaller inner circle to that total circle. So in other words, it's going to be the area of that smaller blue circle, which is pi little r squared, divided by pi big R squared. So that I know to be true. So whenever I'm trying to find I enclosed, the, thing, the trick that I think of is can I get the ratio with the total current? And so now I have pi's that cancel. And so I can write I enclosed, so now it's really just a matter of solving for I enclosed. I enclosed is little r over big R squared times capital I. And now it's really straightforward. Because now I can just complete the rest of my Ampere's Law problem. Well, if I integrate B over DL, remember L here, we're talking about length. So they're asking for the length or the circumference of that inner blue circle there. So this is going to be B times the circumference, which is 2 pi little r. And that equals, I need to make a little bit of room here, sorry about that. Um, and that's going to equal mu naught times I enclosed, which is little r over big R squared times I. And at this point, now it's actually super straightforward because we literally have all of the things we're looking for except B. We have little r, we know big R, we have mu naught, of course, and we have I. So the trick with this problem is really figuring out what that I enclosed is, and then the rest of it's easy. Good luck!